Hey, hey Queerty. Queerty! Welcome to Queerty Pride 50! Welcome to Queerty Pride 50! Hey, it's your girl Jake, and I'm here on the blue carpet at Queerty's Pride 50. Oh, I'm, well, I'm always proud. I'm prouder than ever. I think that pride should be celebrated every day. Pride this year for me really is about love. When I discovered drag is when I discovered self-love. Well, I find pride in our community. And the beauty of the people around me. My amazing queer community that keeps growing and persevering every single day. Music. I blast, like, a workout Britney uh, playlist and that makes me get places faster and then people can see me going really fast and they're like, he's probably gay. So that's how I do it. We're here, we're queer, get used to it, we're Tyler Moore, we're Mary. How do I still find pride? Well, I mean, fashion is one way, honey. I mean, the book is together, bitch. I think it's important to say gay because we freaking are. It is so important to say gay, 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 gay. As a single father of three, you know, I can't imagine my children going to school and not being able to share about their father at home. Pride right now is about really showing up and standing up and being a little loud. Gay people are gifted. Gay people are what make culture around the world through all the history of the world. We have a lot more understanding, a lot more acceptance, and yes, a lot more outspoken hate, a lot more outspoken pushback from me. I want to focus on this actually means that we're accomplishing, we're reaching people. It's an uphill battle, but the more people we reach, the more of our stories we share, yes, there's pushback, but we're gonna win. What I look forward to is us continually fighting to stand up for the parts of our community that we finally started to celebrate. A lot of what we're seeing is a really retrograde movement against people of the same identities who were the ones who really established and started the entire Pride movement. You know, there are people who came before us who did the work and, and fought the good fight. What brings me pride is when I think back to Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera, when I think back to the uh, trans women and sex workers in Compton's cafeteria, thinking of them and their legacies really brings me a sense of hope and pride. I'm a part of a lineage and they make me proud to be who I am. I'm even prouder of the people that come after me who I learned so much from. I honestly think this next generation is going to save us. The children are our future. I hope to see more education about gender expression. I think that we're stepping into a time that's really good for people to be people, if that makes sense. And we're finally finding the words to describe who we are. That makes it more easy for, for others to understand. I would love to see more inclusivity. I would love to see more conversations surrounded by being more inclusive of our community, trans people, all different body types and all different like styles. Our spectrum seems to keep getting wider and bigger and more vast. We need to be full out, full force, so every young kid who is struggling in every state where they're being bombarded by rules and laws and bills against them, that they have to look towards us and be like, that we're going to be okay, we're going to get through it. I mean, we have to protect trans kids at all costs. Nobody's going to silence or erase us. Nobody ever has and nobody ever will.